All right, guys. Welcome to the Sports Movement Network, because the movement starts here. And today we're going to be talking Lions and NFL talk. And today we got our guests of the Gridiron Blitz. What's up? What's going on, people? Hey, I just got to say this. You know, your boy is is one sub away from 1700. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thirsty. So why don't y'all go ahead and quench that thirst? And I will say this again uh, and holler at your boy. Go ahead. Click that subscription button. But not only just me, these two gentlemen that I'm with, Troxel Sports Talk and Lions Personnel Show. Let's get going. All right, Lions Personnel. How's it going, man? Hey, what is up, One Pride Nation? Um, just want to say I'm ready to roll, and let's get the sports movement network thing off the ground. All right. What you talking about, man? It's already off the ground, baby. <laughs> it's already lifting. We just got to we gotta get this boy in the earth. That's all that is. <laughs> there we go. And we got... Hey, Google Hangouts, rest yeah. in peace, man. Rest, rest in peace, peace to, to Google Hangouts. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Trav. <laughs> and we got... We got JGB in the building. How's it going, my, my dude? Uh, hey, what up, JGB? I, I like the hairstyle, man. I just can't tell if that's like a that's like twist, right? I see you, man. JGB be rolling with everybody, oh, man. man. Love JGB. Absolutely. So, uh, the first topic of the day is Mr. Theo Riddick. So he has visited with the New Orleans Saints. Today, he met with the Denver Broncos. Where do you guys think that he could land? Derek, you want to take this one? Go ahead, LP. No, go ahead, man. You know, I'm always talking. Go ahead. You go first. Nah, I think the best places for him, in my opinion, are New Orleans and the Chiefs. Um, the Chiefs don't really have that back that they can essentially throw it out to in the flats and get yardage. Um, I think he'd fit well in that system because of how explosive their offense is already. And I think that's just another element that they'd be able to add. And I think he'd uh, honestly destroy it over there. And then with the Saints, um, of course, we all remember that move back, I'm going to say 2014, 2015. When he made that little juke and made the Saints linebacker look silly, I was all over um, everywhere for a while. Yep. Um, and then yep. I think he'd fit well, and I think he'd be a veteran presence for Alvin Kamara, too, with Melvin Ingram. Or, yeah, with Marty gone. Mark Ingram, sorry. Oh, yeah, wait. Wait, that's right. Because he's uh, – wait, Mark – oh, you mean wait, yeah, Mark, wait, what? Yeah. Mark Ingram Mark is Ingram where now? The Ravens now. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, bro. Uh, first, th only thing I first, the first thing I gotta say is, um, the defense do. Hey, shout out to Theo Riddick, man. Um, <laughs> hey, I gotta clear something up, guys. I was not trying to diss Theo Riddick. It was a lot of people that was like, and shout out to those people. They thought it was a diss track, and I'm like, I wasn't trying to what? diss Theo Riddick. I woke up. I, I woke up Saturday morning. And literally, it was the first thing I saw. And I'm like, oh, man, Theo Riddick is gone. So the first thing I thought about was boys to men, man. And then I'm like, okay, I'm about to do this this video. And, and everybody else is going to be doing a, you know, Theo Riddick is gone, yada, yada. <laughs> and I was like, well, why don't I just get ridiculous? And that's where that came from. But everybody know it was true. So don't even pretend like it was. <laughs> I don't have nothing bad to say about Theo. But unfortunately, the offense that J uh, – the unnamed assailant uh, that our former offensive coordinator put him in, and and the fact that he just couldn't he just couldn't find a hole, man. Like if you put him in open space, he was he was good, but uh, it was not a diss. So now that that's out the way, uh, what up, Sip Trot Media? I see you, fam. Alliance for Life. What's going on? Uh, make sure y'all thumb up the video. Um, appreciate y'all. I see we got them thumbs up. Um, I don't know, man. I know he met with Denver today, right? And then. He met with the uh, Saints on Saturday. So, um, I don't know, man. I think he would fit real good with the Saints, bro. Like, I think Drew would have him looking all types of Pro Bowl caliber. Um, but I don't know. But I do know that he's going to be on the team. Mark my words that Theo Riddick the, uh, will be on the team by preseason. First game. 
So next, so we got what uh, ten days, and before the ten day mark, Theo Riddick will be on the team. But I don't know, man. I think somebody gonna pick him up real quick. If it was the season, he would already be on the team. Oh, absolutely. And what up, though, Sip Troy and uh, Lions fan for life? How's it going, fellas? Uh, so my take on Theo, he does fit very well with with New Orleans. Um, and, you know, with, with Sean Payton, he's a mastermind offensively. Um, you know, but then Denver, Denver doesn't really have a, a like a really reliable receiving threat out there backfield. And mm. I believe I read something about one of his coaches is actually coaching there in Denver. Um, it might be really? the running backs. Yeah, it might be the running back coach. Um, hold on, let me find that article real quick. Um, but I'm gonna get come back to me real fast and we're gonna i'll give you guys another topic to kind of carry on uh okay could could the vikings pick up theo riddick Ooh. Mm. go ahead lps what you think man uh i think they can I think well there was it was like a fan playing. article man yeah i i, I think they yeah it was, it was like a <clears throat> it was like a fan yeah yeah, because like they already they picked up Amir Abdullah and put him on special teams. And I still think Abdullah is a good player as well. But like, um, no, I see them picking him up. It's just we have to be at the right price. The Vikings don't usually like spending on people. Uh, they like spending on their defense, not their offense. Um, <laughs> that's just the way. Unless they... you, yeah, unless you Kirk Cousins, uh... unless you Kirk Cousins, then they spend. You know, you know. I don't know what they were thinking, <clears throat> but um, honestly, what. Travis brought up was a good point. I think with Denver, I think it's a piece of the offense that they don't have whatsoever, like at all. Like they don't have that explosion. They don't have a running back that fits that mold. And that's just kind of the way their offense is run. They have a ground and pound offense with um, the quarterback being more of a game manager than um, a playmaker. So I think if they have someone like him in the offense, I think he'd be able to make strides in so many different ways. Hey, why y'all doing Joe Flacco like that, man? Come on, man. So he he all of a sudden Alex Smith. Joe Flacco is now Alex Smith. Come on, man. Really? What? What? You said he, they got a quarterback that's a game. Yeah. Manager. What? What are you trying to say? You saying you trying to tell me that I'm Joe Flacco is good? No, I'm. I'm I, I mean, you know, I didn't say good. I just said, <laughs> you know. I just said uh game manager, you know what I'm saying? I, I I mean, you know, put him down there with Alex Smith, but look, Alex Smith was getting them, them wins. He just couldn't, I don't know, man. Alex Smith, he he kind of remind me of Kirk Cousins as well. Just better uh, than yeah. Kirk Cousins. I mean, don't get me started on Kirk. Yeah, Kirk. Oh, Kirk Lord. Um yeah, Kirk yeah. I look, man, I think Theo uh oh, were well, you ready, Trust? Were... Right. Yeah, I know. Okay, I did find the article. Um, it was actually a tweet. It was by Troy. Okay. Uh, I ain't even going to try to pronounce, pronounce his name. I'll just spell his last name. R-E-N-C-K. His first name is Troy. Uh, he said, Riddick will, will visit the Broncos today after being cut by the Lions. Has excelled as receiving throughout the backfield. This is much bigger part of this offense under new offensive coordinator, uh, Sacangerello. I ain't even going to try to uh, pronounce that guy's <laughs> last name. <laughs> I'm, I'll spell it again. And I'll even, and I'll even uh, put it in the chat as well. It's S-C-A-N-G-A-R-L or E-L-L-O. So I'll put it in the chat right now. Yeah, I stop caring when you start. <laughs> yeah, when you start spelling, I stop. Caring, <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, yeah, I'm just saying, saying, keeping it a hundred, man. That's what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. <laughs> hey, look. I look, look, look. Theo Riddick will be on the team. Um. Hopefully, it's not an NFC North rival. But if it is, you know, we we got his number. Um. But for some reason, he might just come light us up. You know, you never know, man. People, I mean, the, the same old Lions, Theo Riddick would light up. But this, 
These Lions, we're going to stop him before he gets to the line of scrimmage. If you want to know, all they need to do, if they want the playbook for Theo Riddick, just check out the Gridiron Blisses uh, uh, video. And I, I will break down to you exactly what Theo Riddick, uh, everything that happened, man, couldn't get past the line of scrimmage. When it, when the defense came in, they, they knew it was a pass. I mean, when he came in, the defense knew it was a pass. So uh, they definitely, wherever he goes, I think they're they going to have to switch it up, man, because everybody knows what Theo Riddick does. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I'll say this, ain't nobody's going <laughs> to let it. says, wheel route. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll say this, though, like. That's why I said same old. I said, the, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, like, nobody will be able to, like, run all over us because, you know, we got Mike. We got probably one of the best five defensive linemen in the entire NFL right now. Like, we got Mike Daniels. We got Snacks. Then we got uh, uh, Ashawn Robinson. That's just on your interior. Then outside, you got Flowers. Mm -hmm. You got Han, Okawara. Like, I mean, are you kidding me? We, that's six people mm -hmm. right there. So it's like, <laughs> I like I even tweeted to Damon Snacks yeah. Harrison. I tweeted this to him. Rest in peace to any opposing <laughs> offenses. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm sorry. Did he? Hey, did he respond? He has not yet responded, but I am waiting for that response. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that'd be what's up, man. If we can get a response, man. But you know what? Guy? I feel like I was I was happy and sad to see Theo go, um, like literally sp split down the middle. I mean, we knew it was all coming. We were talking about this for months. Um, he was the last one to go out of the the bunch that I you know had expected. And uh, I, I was I had like mixed emotions, man, because I really don't have anything bad to say about him, man. He he came to work, he put in work, he just wasn't very good at running the ball, but catching the ball Definitely out of the backfield, man. taking off, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, hey, hey, you know, he was kind of I always called him a glorified, um, like he he was he was more of a wide receiver than a running back, um, yeah. and he wasn't as as quick as he was to me, he couldn't like, if you watch last year, he couldn't really juke like he did in 14, 14. I mean, he, he stopped my man. And when they showed it from the back, like dude was going one way, Theo went the other, um, and then took it for, you know, quite a number of yards after that, but he, he lost several steps, but I still think he'll be a valuable asset. Um, and, and I'm more excited now, fellas, honestly, about Zach Zinner, man. Cause I was really, really nervous that Zach Zinner, was going to be on that that kind of chopping block. But I'm like, man, you know, I really think Zach brought up his stock last year filling in yep. for Carrion. Yep. I'm really excited for Zach, to be honest with you. I think he hasn't gotten enough opportunities in this offense, and I think that um, Patricia is actually seeing something in him that any other coach hasn't yet. And I think if he gets more opportunities and more carries, I feel like he's going to be able to develop into a really great number three running back. Well, hey, I guys, did y'all see that picture? Uh, I'm sorry. Trav, go ahead, man. Oh, well, I know that there's an article um, out there. I, I, I look at uh, Bleacher Report, and I know it's on Bleacher Report that um, every time Matt Patricia is around Zach Zenner, he loves that guy even more. So there's something to that, you know, with Zach Zenner staying on this team. You yeah, know, if exactly. your coach absolutely loves you every time he sees you, even more than the last time he saw you, that means you're in good company with him. And if you're in good company, you staying. <laughs> but I think Derek hit it yeah. on the note as well is, you know, I think he, his stock really was on 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 the show, uh, what do you call it, at the end of last year when he was filling in for, uh, for uh, Carry On. Yeah, exactly. And that's something where, like, he usually only gets uh, starting roles when the ones and twos are, of course, hurt, which is essentially the way it's supposed to be. But when he gets those shots down the line, what was it, 2016, when he went and had a lot of yards against uh, Dallas, it was a uh, day after Christmas. He went off yeah. in that game, and he gets the opportunity to play, and he has a decent O-line, which is something we haven't had in Detroit for a while. I think he's going to be an amazing running back this year. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I'm glad he's here, man. And um, if I had to pick between the two, I would have picked Theo, man, to to say sayonara because <clears throat> Theo. I mean, one thing Zach could do. JGB called, <laughs> called him the White Rhino. <laughs> uh, he he put on a bunch of muscle, man. There is a picture floating around. I think it it's like on Instagram. I don't know how this. I clicked on the tweet. Oh, and by the way, if anybody know how to change your Twitter page from from I, I changed it to black by mistake. So you got to help an old man out. Help me turn the white back, back to white. Man. I don't know what happened, but oh uh, I clicked on this. I, I clicked on hey man. Hey, hey, Charlie <laughs> Murphy. I need some help, man. Um, So I clicked on this picture and it took me to Instagram and I see Zach Zinner. And he, I guess, working out with somebody called Mecca or some, uh, uh, I don't know what it is, man. And they got this dude. He, his back is like bodybuilder-esque. And I was just like, they said he put on like 24 pounds of muscle, bro. Ooh. So, Zach Zinner, he going to be laying some cats down, man. One thing he know how to do is go straight. And he going to yep. be knocking some some dudes out, man. So, we going to have to, hey, we going to have a, man, I, you know, I, I don't know, man. Did CJ Anderson lose any weight? Did, is he in shape? CJ Anderson? Yeah, he dropped away. And then, actually, to your yeah. point on uh, Zach Zinner, yeah, he actually did work out at Mecca. Um, and I got it, a okay. post up right now. He said he went from 12.6 body fat to 8%. And then Oof. he gained 14 mm. pounds as well. Oh, so man. That's crazy. I got on a scale the other day. I was listening to a video the other day. They yeah, I got on a scale the other day. Ooh we okay. I, I might need to hit them up, man, because I gotta, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, I need. I'm gonna need some help, man. I can't get it. I can't get it off, fellas. I need some help. Don't get old. Don't get old. I'm telling y'all, man. I, hey, hey Mecca, Zach you. Zinner, holler at me, man. Holler at me. No, man. Um. <laughs> hey, I just gotta say one thing, guys. Uh, how many we got in the chat, fellas? We got ten people. Um, watching. We got ten. That's what's up, man. We got we got 10 people watching, man. That's what's up. Appreciate y'all so much. You know, everybody know what's going on. Everybody know where we came from. And uh, the uh, Mondays is the day that was kind of decided on through the, uh, the the poll. If you took place in the poll that was on my channel and then our schedule as well. And uh, you, you got the, the round table as well. But this right here is the start of what we're trying to do. And we appreciate all y'all for being here. Uh, and and I just can't say thank you enough, man. So we appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, we got Chris Cashball, uh. <laughs> Marcus Willis, Brian Ellis, uh, One Pride Forty. What's happening, you guys? Oh, and we got Books. What's going too. on, Brian? What's up? Oh, Books Brian. How's behind? it going, fellas? I didn't even see him. I didn't need that. I was uh, scrolling up and I seen him. I was like, oh, what's up? <laughs> well, you know, oh, his, wow. his picture dark anyway. It, yeah. Yeah. Book spray picture. <laughs> Wait. It'd be dark, man. I can't see it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I see. What's up, bud? I see you, man. That, look, I'm not, I'm not dissing you, man. I'm just saying, like, I literally did. You are in between a green icon and a, and a gray one, man. I was like, where? Okay. I see you, man. What up? What's going on, man? Oh, we got Hitman's house in the Google building. Hangouts. We got Hitman house. Hitman's in the house. What's good, man? What's good? Oh man, we done hit it big time. We done <laughs> hit it big time, y'all. We got we got the Hitman in the building. Hey, yeah. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> hey, man. You know, you know, we gonna be living in the shadow, man. But that's all right. We like we like the Ninja Turtles, man. We gonna pop out of the shadows. So don't you worry about it, man. And hey, thank all y'all for being here. For uh, yeah, we think. Go you ahead. Guys. What's up? Yeah. Um, talk with one five forty in the comments. He was talking about how uh, Mike Daniels is a poor uh, Akeem Hicks, poor man's Akeem Hicks. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Personally, I think that Mike Daniels has had a better career, but I think Hicks has had a better last season, of course, and last couple seasons. But I think overall, I feel like I'd take Daniels over Hicks. Not now, of course, but over the entire career, I still take Daniels. What do you guys think about that? Well, they were drafted the same year, right? I think they were. Hicks and Daniel. Looking on, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Um, man, a poor man. That's kind of bold, man. It's like, are you saying that because because he was hurt last year? I mean, you know, like he didn't really have a stellar year. No, I don't know, man. That. Hicks went to the Pro Bowl last year, and he kind of blew up. Which Hicks has always been an underrated player, in my opinion. But I don't think that Mike Daniels is someone that's um, overrated or someone that's below Akeem Hicks's level either. Oh, what's up, Abdul? Uh, 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 man, Abdul Terrell, what's going on, man? Um, I don't know, man. I feel like using last year because I don't know what what did he do last year. Like I don't really, I didn't pay attention to his stats and stuff like that, and and I didn't watch any Chicago game. So only time I watched them is when they played the Lions, and so I don't really know. But I think um, you know, his his last year going to the Pro Bowl is like. Like I said, I, I I don't really know his numbers, so I really can't tell. Okay. And if hey, you're not on the Lions, I man, you. I don't really be paying you attention. <laughs> no, I got you right here. Um, I, I, the last I, year, three seasons, excuse me. Um, no, what were we gonna say? You don't really care as long as he ain't on the Lions. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I don't, unless you lighten it up, man. You unfortunately you got to be one of them cats that get all the attention, like a Pat Mahomes or whatever, man. But what you got for us? That's true. No, nah, he's still pretty well known. Well, now he is, but the last yeah, I've seasons, heard he's had uh average yeah, he's had an average of fifty four tackles and he's had an uh twenty sixteen he had seven sacks, twenty seventeen he had eight and a half, and then last season he had seven and a half sacks. Okay, so him and uh Romeo had the same amount of sacks. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Mike Daniel okay. and uh Akeem Hicks did get in the same draft. They were both in the same draft. And yeah, what's going on, uh, Abdul Terrell? Hey, I just got to give a shout out to uh, to At Man. He he. First thing, first thing when when Mike Daniels was cut, he came and was like, "Would you pick up Mike Daniels?" And I was like, "Not for eight point five, I wouldn't." <laughs> That's next thing you know, they go and they, they pull in Mike Daniels. <laughs> And pretty much gave him 8.5, I mean, 7.8, 9.1, beat in the middle. And uh, I was just like, wow. First thing I thought of is you, A.T. So I see you, man. Shout out to A.T. Uh, we got to get – we, we got to give credit where credit is due, man. So that's crazy. Absolutely. So Mike Daniels, man, big big signing, huh? Man, that was a huge signing. Because, you know, that was the one signing that – actually got us national media in positive light. Like, mm-hmm. after everything that we've done, this was the one signing that actually brought people to say, oh, the Lions actually might be good this year. <laughs> I know. And I think that's just how they said it, Travis. I think that's just how yeah. they said it. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> like, oh, I, can't, man. I, I really can't believe that, bro. I can't either. Like I, I, I really cannot believe it, man. Like all of the stuff, Trey Flowers. Uh, that we make the. I mean, we came out the gate. Like you know, they got Sea Biscuit and they, they in the little horse race, and they, they. I don't even know. Do they blow a whistle or ring a bell or something? And these clowns come out running. That's what the Detroit Lions did this year. And I mean, we made, and it was like, you know, they got, they overpaying for training flowers and, and all of this stuff. And then Jesse James, and it wasn't until this move that it's like, okay, okay. I've been seeing all over, all over YouTube and Twitter and, and, uh, so, you know, the internet that people starting to take notice of it. They even said that it shifted the power rankings, bro. You know, how, like NFL has the power rankings that yeah. it shifted the power rankings, man. Like we never move the power rankings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ever. <laughs> we're like stuck in the middle. If I mean, we're, we're, <laughs> yeah, we win and we drop down. We win right. and drop down seven. Like how the Browns ahead of us, bro. They just went like one in 31 and they, they automatically hired in us. <laughs> I have got no clue. Well, and like that's the thing is like I, I don't know. They saying that we overpaid for flowers and like I don't get how you can keep uh doubting the Lions this year with who they've signed. They got flowers, they got Jesse James, they got Danny Amendola, which is a really good number three receiver, even though he Yes it is. Boys. Thank you, thank you, no, Justin thank you, Coleman. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah then they got hey, did you like that tweet I tweeted you? 
Yes, but I was like, look at Danny catching that ball, son. I don't know if he got two feet down. I don't know. I didn't see the – I was, like, driving. But, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, I see you, D.A. And he number 80. Now, I thought he was number 12. What happened? He switched to 80? Yeah, he must have no, switched to 80. Oh, because Michael Roberts. Oh, How yeah, that's do right. I... <laughs> Michael, oh. Rob... Michael Roberts. <laughs> hey, man, hey, I think I saw Michael Roberts, bro, at Chipotle. I think he was at Chipotle, man. He was what? working at Chipotle. I was like, what's up, Mike? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, man. I think I saw. <laughs> I think I saw. I was like, let me get a bowl. Can I get some guac? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I want some of my free Michael guac. Roberts, bro. I was like, <laughs> I know. I was like, can you scan this, Mike? Because I need to. Um, I got a little certificate, bro. Yeah, man. Mike Roberts, bro. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> sorry mike sorry man um <laughs> oh man so what yeah man um i saw it travis and i was like hey i was like look at hey, you see you know what it's time for me to glow it is time for, i know i'm i know it's a little early but okay. you know i'm gonna talk about it i'm gonna talk about it and uh you know da gonna make a lot of people believe believe that an old man still got it so I need DA to perform not only for himself, but for me and, and the men that's that's hitting 40. Okay. Cause y'all just wanted to throw this brother out. Oh, let's get um, I forgot a bunch of names out, out there. And I'm like, have you seen his his uh his his Instagram pictures? Have you seen the brother? Now I know that that don't translate to football, but Danny Amendola is not only putting in work on the field. But he's also, you know, Kenny Galladay's talking high about him and stuff like that, man. I really think that a lot of Lions fans are are underestimating Danny Amendola, man. And yes, Danny Amendola, I am on his payroll, by the way. He's gonna cut me a check <laughs> every. It's like ten bucks for every time I mention his name. So I'm just saying. But <laughs> I I, I believe I believe in DA. <laughs> you better make it count. <laughs> Say his name a hundred thousand times. Hey, I am, man. <laughs> hey, man. I'm just saying. Oh but, wait, uh, wait! JGB says he got a uh, he said he got a TD. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. No, he's no, he's doing good in camp. Or he doing? Yeah, he's doing good in camp. Well, I'm like, okay, I got a question for you guys. Um, y'all remember Anquan Bolden a few years back right? in 2016? Yes, yeah, we do. So his stats, mm -hmm. yeah, his stats were uh, 67 catches for just under 600 yards with eight touchdowns. Um, how realistic do you think? Uh, oh, he also had uh, five 20 plus yard catches, so he had some big plays as well. How realistic do you think that is for uh, Danny Amendola's stats this, this season with us? I think that's right on par. Mm. I have to I say don't know so if there's going to be many touchdowns. So... Well, he I had, mean, maybe he not 67 catches. Yeah, he did. That's quite a bit. I mean, I would, but see, well, I mean, Anquan the... was balling. Yeah. But then outside of Kelvin Johnson, who did Antoine really have? It was just them two, really. Uh, 2016. No, I think we had. Oh, Tate that was Marvin Tate as well. Time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Calvin. Tate, yeah, Calvin. Calvin. That was when Calvin left, right? He was gone. Was he gone that year? No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, no. yes. Because he yeah. left. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Antoine Bolden took he his left. number in 2016. Oh, yes. that's right. And he was that's right. Yeah, that's he right. was balling. He was balling. Yeah, because um, he asked, he asked uh, Calvin for his jersey. Oh, I wouldn't ask Calvin for nothing, but I'm just saying, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's water under the bridge. Water under the bridge, fellas. We're not going to go back to that Calvin Johnson road, man. We spent way too much time on that. Uh, <laughs> Anquan was balling. Uh, DA don't got the size that, that, uh, you know, A B have the real A B that are not that other clown. Um right. <laughs> uh True. but I think um I, I think you I, I think you're gonna at least match last year's numbers, maybe a little less because we got so many offensive weapons, you know what I'm saying? Um we got the receivers that's gonna be crazy. So uh the, the tight ends, the I mean, so you know, I, I, I don't think he's gonna put up Tate, obviously not. Um and oh, yeah. he had five ninety seven. I think five. He, he had a little less than six hundred. I think last year, and I think um, but I think he gonna. You know what I think he's gonna be is reliable. 
and clutch, just yeah. like Bowden was. I mean, he was catching touchdowns. Um, and I think that's DA, man. And and really, real talk, that's all we need him to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Oh man. Oh, okay. JGB. See, they clown it. They clown it in the chat, man. Marcus Willis yeah. says, What what JDB says, I just expected it to be at least on good morning football. No, his, his I, last, I must have no, missed something. No, his last comment, what y'all think about the injuries on Sunday? Yeah, we had a lot of injuries on Sunday, but I don't know how – well, they said one of them had an actual – like they thought it was the more serious injury. Um, I forgot who it was. If the chat – if the if you guys know who, who it was and the um, – Oh, I know it was. Um... What well, didn't? Oh, well, man. yeah, no, I can't. You mean like so? Didn't Deshaun Hand hurt his hand? <laughs> was that Deshaun Hand that hurt his hand? Uh, Wasn't it? I've got nothing on that. Um, but yeah, they they also haven't released like what the injuries are. But it doesn't right. sound like any of them are super big. Like, yeah, because I was reading some articles and it said that we dropped down to where at one point during practice they only had five defensive linemen total. I was like, yeah. so what? You ain't gonna be able to run a number two team on, or what? Man. Okay, so so okay, but here's the thing, man. It, it was hot in the mug yesterday. <laughs> okay, like it's been. They was practicing outside. It was like some dehydration and some other stuff. And you know, uh, I don't think it's is too concerning. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't know, well, but I did see somebody hurt their hand and somebody. I'm trying to find it myself. Well, then we also got to realize I did that see it we yesterday, still five though. weeks away. Like, unless it's like an ACL or something like that, that's gonna knock, knock him out for the season. Essentially, any injury, even if yeah. it's a like a decently major one, they're all gonna be fine. They'll be just fine. And then yeah, also, I mean, I, I feel like you, everybody. Yeah. No, yeah. Question for yeah. you guys: What do you think uh, Ashawn is up to? Because he's had an excused absence for four days now, and then of course they're off today. But I'm curious to see if it's um, something injury related that they're not just they're just putting to the side and he's getting some sort of different rehab or something personal or something like that. Mm, well, they said it was personal reasons, so I you know I wonder what I don't see why they would yeah. have to you know I don't know, man. I, uh, yeah, that's a good you know that can mean any list of things. So I don't know. I hope I don't know, back. but I you know I don't think it's like. I think he will. I, I you know, it, it, like you said, we still got five weeks. I'm sure he'll be back. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't think it's anything to worry about. But you know, one thing I do know is that Bob Quinn, he probably got somebody on speed dial just in case, and you know, just in case, um, he needs to fill that roster spot. So, I don't know, man. But I'm sure oh, he'll be there. Could it be Mike Daniels? Uh, yeah, it could be. Well, okay, that's a good question for you guys. Then, do you think you, so? Okay. Good case scenario, um, Ashawn comes back with the money that Mike Daniels is getting. And actually, uh, who was it in the comments said that? Um, it may have been Chris. Let me scroll up. Or, uh, I'll, look at I'll keep scrolling and talking. Um, so uh, do you think with the money that we paid Mike Daniels that he's a guaranteed starter? Do you still think it's going to be Ashawn and Snacks? Say it one Say that one more time. One year, I, I think I. No, I said okay. So with the guaranteed money and how much money we did pay Mike Daniels, do you think he's going to start opposite Snacks, or do you think uh, Ashawn and Snacks are still going to be the starters? I think it's it's going to depend um, how long Ashawn is gone. What exactly is this personal issue? But that's a lot of money to give like a. I don't know, man. It, I, I I feel like right now it's up for grabs. I, I don't know. You know, I know yeah. Ashawn stepped up. Um, he had a lot of people not believing in him, and he he showed. But I I really think that you know leading up to preseason and through through preseason, that's gonna really tell. I do see you know Mike Daniels might be able to come out on top at the end of the you know before September eighth. So I don't know, but he got to get back first. Ashawn got to get back. Yeah, that's true. Well, and. Of course, yeah, just like you were saying, Ashawn had a breakout year last season because people were doubting him, and he was on the chopping block. And now he had, yeah, he had his best season so far, and he's still a super young guy, so his potential's through the roof. 
Whereas with yeah. Mike Daniels, we know what we're going to get from him. Yeah, I I mean, true. Uh, see, go ahead, Trav. I think that it depends on if Mike Daniels like learns that off, like that learns that defense. If he could pick up that defense, I think he he put himself a notch ahead of of Ashan. But if Ashan comes back, say you know in the second week. You know, come so be like come back Tuesday. <coughs> oh, sorry yeah. about that. You know, then um, I think it'd be you know Ashan's job to. It's really Ashan's job to lose because yeah, that I second agree. half did did put him in. Know. That second half did put him when we got snacks. That that put him back on good terms. But I think what Matt Patricia is doing right now is having insurance policies in case of if something goes wrong, I have a backup that I can plug in right right now to where I'm not scrambling like I was all last year. You know, because if you stop and think about it, Matt Patricia was scrambling all last year. You know, he came yep. into uh he came on the team late. He um you know, he, he, he didn't have his time to really dissect the team, you know, because he was in the Super Bowl, you know. And yeah. so this year, I think what he did was he was like, okay, now I know this team. I know where the weaknesses are. Let me make sure I have, you know, positions to where I feel comfortable at, you know, to where, hey, if something happens, I could plug this guy in and I don't really have to lose that much sleep. Then I can have Bob Quinn work his magic, you know, to get somebody to, you know, for the next man up mentality. You know, yeah, so that's, then, that's... Yeah, you know what, though? Go ahead, Derek. But here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. All right, so Mike Daniels comes in and he says, hey, man, I'm, I'm you know, he quoting scriptures. He dropping like, he's a genius. I'm glad I got cut. Um, uh, I, I wanted to play for Matt Patricia. I want to do a back get flip. <laughs> 13 teams call you. I know if I could, I would, man, please get out of here. You do a black, a backflip. You won't be playing football ever again. So here, here's my thing though. This, this is how I'm looking at. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the wheel of a man. You know what I'm saying? As far as it comes to Ashawn, Ashawn's not there. Um, and like Travis, like you said, it's his spot to lose. Right. But, but check this out. Here's what I'm thinking. You got 13 people call you or 13 people call you within the first hour. That's what the reports are saying. You got, yeah. let's just say, four or five offers. We're not even talking about Detroit. We may or may not be talking about Detroit. And you say, I'm going to come play for the Detroit Lions. Why? Yeah, yeah, I want to play for Matt Patricia. He's a genius. But uh, what else? what else is in our division? His old team. He wants to play Green Bay. And I think he's going to do whatever it takes to be that guy that Green Bay know, like he on that field, guarantee. You know, so he's gonna be on the field regardless. But I think that his drive to show the drive to show somebody else what you can do is strong, man. It really, yeah. and and not only that, you know, he might have to still prove it to himself. But I don't know, man. Like you said, Travis, you hit it on the head, man. It's a shine spot to lose. But you know, seven point eight one year deal in the division. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I would love for Mike Daniels to start because, you know, you would have Mike Daniels, Snacks, Trey Flowers, Deshaun Hand. Then you got to deal with that. Mm. Then you got to deal with Jelani Tavai. You got to deal with uh, Jared Davis. Mm. And then you got to deal with uh, uh, Devon Kennard. Mm-hmm. And that's not even talking about our secondary. So, As like, they, every single step of that defense is getting more time to get into their spots to make their play. Well, then, okay, I got a question for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, you know what, John? I'm sick of you and these questions, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 20, I'm going to start calling you 50 Cent. <laughs> hey, brothers. Okay. I got another question. <laughs> hey, I'm bringing up good stuff though. Shit. You know it. You know it. Um, so we saw with Mike Daniels. Oh my lord! 
No, Mike Daniels, he said, uh, well, there's three factors. One, he wanted to play the Packers. Two, he loved Matt Patricia. And he said three, that he'd want to sign with a Super Bowl contender. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay, Mike. See, I knew that's what I'm yeah, talking how about. You about that. Man, hey, that the man, you know, he know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I yep. think I think somebody snuck that dude some Kool Aid. <laughs> somebody snuck him some Kool Aid, man. Some Spike Kool Aid, cause he, hey, but that's crazy though, man. But he is a football player, and and you know I'm just a fan, so I don't see what he sees. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know I know a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes, and a lot of stuff is not brought out to the public. But I mean, this dude looked, he looked serious, man. Like, like he he was just so happy, man. And I'm like. Okay, bro. All right. So that's crazy, man. I'm excited to hear that. That means that if he believes that, then maybe he can get some other players to believe that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, okay. Um, and, Trav, I do agree with you with that um, defensive front. I don't see a better defensive – I – I'm saying uh, top five Russian defense in the league, no matter what, and top ten defense overall. I think we're going to be – overall yeah, defense, yep. though, I believe we're going to be higher. Like, I, because we ended the year as a top ten defense. Mm. Yeah. You know, so I, I feel we're probably going to have the top top defensive line, but I feel like we, we can have, like, a top five defense because that – one thing you got to understand, and I want to quote uh, uh, a thing that uh, Ray Lewis said. And Ray Lewis played linebacker. He said, I wouldn't be the player I was today if it wasn't for my offensive line or my defensive line. Meaning, if them, if them four, three to four guys or five guys or whatever the front is did not do their job, the linebackers had to was gonna struggle. And if the linebackers struggled, then the secondary struggled. So it has to like if if the defensive line plays well and the linebackers play well, it's gonna help the secondary. And if the secondary play well, why can't we be a five top five defense? You know, I mean, yeah, I do got a couple question marks with you know with one of the safety spots and the cornerback two and things like that. But outside of that, it doesn't matter who you plug in. If the front seven perform well, that second, that secondary is going to perform well as well, or at least decent enough to, you know, be in position to maybe get a pass to fleck or maybe an interception or be in position to stop the guy in front of them. Yeah. Well, and yeah, look at just look at last year. Yeah, they. You know what? No, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Jeff. Yeah, just look at last year. Like, look how bad our rush defense was until we got snacks, and look how much you can almost look at. JD was okay before snacks. As soon as he got snacks, his play improved immensely. Who did? Yeah, and, and uh, see Jared Davis. Uh, uh, oh, Jerry yeah. Davis. Yeah, and, and the thing the thing is, is excuse me, the Lions need it, they need some takeaways, man. We we need some takeaways. Uh we already know we gotta step our red zone game up and, and that's TJ Hawkinson yeah. and stuff like that. But the, you you guys are right, man. The the defense, that line makes a difference, man. How many times have um a quarterback's arm been hit as he was releasing? And it's a it's a duck in and floating in the air. You know what I'm saying? Me and you can catch a duck. Um <laughs> so that type of stuff helps all that stuff out man and um it does make their job easier but I, i'm with you trav i'm a little <laughs> i'm a little scared about that uh that second corner spot though man i, I am oh, yeah i'm a wee bit nervous so um but the defensive line the linebackers that'll help take some pressure off whoever that is over there because i don't want them getting uh you know toasted yeah <laughs> <laughs> toasted yeah i think that's our only weakness <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. Toasty. Yeah, man. Straight <laughs> fatality, man. Ed Boone hey, and to a hey, Newt, Newt Cyber. Huh? Don't you said tease. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh. <laughs> T's going to be babysitting soon. Hey, you know what? Real talk. I heard that T's, he put in an application at Chipotle. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's what Mike Daniels, uh, not Mike Daniels, that's what, that's what Mike Roberts told me today. I was like, what's going on, man? And he was just like, you know, it's a couple, it's a couple cats that's on the, you know, that I'm trying to, I talked to my manager to have him up in here. So hopefully they, you know, but I, I tease better do oh. something or he's going to be babysitting, man. I'm gonna have to call him to babysit. <laughs> Cause he's going to be something. Hey, he ain't going to be, a gonna football be out there with Johnny Manziel. That's something, man. Oh man. You said what? Oh no, no, no. Hey, props to him though. He's having a good what? camp so far. What? This is just camp and he's not going with Kenny Who? or with, against Marvin. Tease Tabor is. He is having yeah. a good camp. Man, come on. One yeah, five forty. No, I'm not joking, man. He he think I'm joking. <laughs> no, Cheese Tabor is having a good uh camp this year. I think. I... Man, come on, <laughs> come on, I'm man. Good, hey, hey. hey, listen. If you let Mike Ford <laughs> come in and take your spot, and I like Mike Ford, but Mike, come on, man. He <laughs> was getting lit up in some of them games, looking like you know. And T, and I'm just saying. And I mean, Jamal Agnew was out there before he got hurt. He was yeah, out there. I mean, true. I think he was playing the slot. Like, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> T's. But one thing I can say about T's, yes, I did. Like I said, man, I, <laughs> I did. Ch <laughs> Chipotle <laughs> on Haggerty and Seven Mile. <laughs> Haggerty and oh, Seven Mile. Lord. They have an Oprah interviews, and I heard that you know Mike was in there. Man, go check him out. <laughs> but. I, I I don't I I, <laughs> I know he got to step up. I know, and and I'm really really concerned about that secondary man. That secondary got me because it was like, oh Slay, you know, if Slay wouldn't have came back, then we would have had to like, you know, fill that number one spot. And who do we even have for the two? So who's yeah. gonna come up? And it will not be T's Tabor. If it's T's Tabor, that defensive line better be as stout as we making the team because he. I mean. <laughs> Look, T Saber, one of them guys, I gotta see to believe, man. I got I gotta see it. Hey, Watch show. any game last like year other than I guess what you say. No, they just gotta get to the QB before he throws the ball. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Man. <laughs> so so we have 14 hey. people in the chat. We got 13 likes and oh, the one man. dislike. Well, I appreciate oh, you. The this hater. Wow. I appreciate you, man. What? Hey, listen, let, cool. hold on. Let me let me say this real quick. Hey, let me know if I'm taking over the show, man, because I don't want to get that reputation. Um. Hey, the hater. Th this going out to the hater. You thumbs down all the videos, Travis. First of all, do you mind, man? Do you mind if I just go ahead? Hater? <laughs> okay, hater. Let me talk to you, hater. All right. Um, you come in and you hate on everybody's videos. Why don't you say who you are? Just be like, yo, I can't stand y'all. I'm a subscriber. I come in, I drop my like, and I hide in the shadows. Why don't you come out and be the man that you're supposed to be? Tell us who you are. I, that's Listen, that's all I'm saying, man, because it comes on every – it done transferred from the DSA to over here. It's a universal subscriber. Um, I mean, you know, it, it's just crazy. Not just whoever you are, just you know, out of respect, just tell us who you are. That's all I'm saying, man. It does help us though. We appreciate that because actually it's called uh interaction, and then that does help the video. So I just I don't like the dislike button, man. <laughs> it's I just don't like it, man. It's, I mean, because I don't like this video, dislike because of whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, anyway. Let's get I back to say, football. No more drama. I will say this, <laughs> and, and this will be my last thing on the uh, one hater. I'm even getting accused of, of disliking videos because of this one hater. So <laughs> can you please tell the can you please yep. tell the world? Yep. Oh <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. And let me just since this is our first time live since all that mess. I am not disliking Lou G's videos. I, 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 you got to be clickbait or whatever, and it's been insinuated and it's been said, you know, without being said, I am not the one to dislike. I don't got 
so I'm I'll put that out there. Hopefully I don't need to start taking screenshots and all that stuff. So, but Travis, you were saying something. Now I will say this. I don't, even if it's clickbait, I do not thumb to sound a video. Like, because being a content creator, I know the struggles and the hardship and the time and the effort and the man hours or woman hours, I'm not going to discriminate, behind making these videos for you guys. You know, that's why I will never, ever, 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 thumbs down a video <laughs> i will dog you in the chat sometimes before, you got to man no i will dog you in the <laughs> chat before i thumbs down a video <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah thumbs downing is for lames it's probably the gridiron blitz is a, is a lame <laughs> probably him man <laughs> know who that guy is but yeah man hey listen thumbs up thumbs down time. we appreciate y'all rocking with us Hey, I, hey, mu hey, muster, man. You know it, you big time when somebody creates a channel, man. I next, I'm telling you, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. But what's up, Trap? What's another topic, Trav? So it broke out today that New Orleans courts is making Roger Goodell and three refs from the NFC title game make a um are due to do questions under oath talking about the whole um no call in the NFC title game how do you guys feel about that what what are they going to do objection <laughs> what's that what, <laughs> no what are they going to do overturn the call that doesn't mean they win the game like outright because even if they do what are they going to do replay the super bowl like <laughs> no 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 nope. right but I think with that is so Travis. Hey, wait, is this is this like? Oh, oh excuse yeah, me. Go ahead, man. Mind or what? I think that's exactly what it is. <laughs> you know, and just to give like the fans, like, hey, yeah, we did get it wrong. Oh, uh, but I mean, you see, but this is why they actually are doing what they're doing now, and that's you know s certain uh, penalties you can actually challenge it. You know. And, yeah. but they, they should have been had stuff like that. Like I'm all for, you know, the less timeouts and things like that, the better, because, you know, let's face it. Football is about a three hours, you know, game. Oh, uh, you know, so if I could speed it up in a sense of, okay, there's not that many timeouts and things like that. Cool. But. I am a person that loves good football. Like if and if you're not calling what's supposed to be called on one day, and then the very next day you're calling it, there's a problem there. Yeah. You know, there's a massive problem there because you know darn well that if it would have been the Lions in that situation, <laughs> they would have definitely called it. There would have been so many flags on that play. <laughs> that, that they would have thought that it was a uh, laundry day. You know, yeah. hats were gonna come in. <laughs> hats were gonna come All in. Right. Uh, flags. So, so who is this? So who is actually taking like taking this to court? I think it's the New Orleans. Um, uh, hold on, let me find that article. I'm on the New Orleans Saints or uh, page. Well, I, I'm going to tell you what, while you're looking for it, Trav. I, I, I love this, man. I love this. And I hope that something go right because uh, the NFL had the power to replay this. Yeah. It is in the rules. And Goodell was like, nope, nope. And I'm thinking, okay, well, it's I don't know if it's ever happened before. I don't remember if a situation like this where they replayed something. But you don't – like it's some things you don't want to be the first person to do. Now, nobody can't – people cannot stand Roger Goodell. Like, uh, Tag LeBoo, people didn't like him, but people can't stand Goodell. I don't know what it is. And I'm like, bro, it's – it's it took you like a week to say something, and then you didn't even do nothing about it. I mean, you you know, the competition committee had to do something, and it's just like for a trial and all that stuff. But like you said, Jonathan, 
it's over and done with. You had the power yeah. to replay this thing. Let me ask you, fellas, would you have watched this? Would you have watched it? If they replayed it, would you have watched that, you know, from that point on? Yes, because like I you like watched watch the game. The <laughs> That's about it. I would have watched it too. I think it, I think it would have been unprecedented for him to do that. But I think it was that egregious that it, it needed to be fixed. It needed yeah. to be fixed. And like you said, if it was us, man, please. <laughs> Oh no! That fool looked worse than Nevin Lawson out there. <laughs> he looked worse than Nevin Lawson out there, man. And yeah. and they didn't even call nothing. And everybody wants to be like, well, you know, the Saints had this and say, have you ever? I mean, it was deflating. Sometimes momentum is a big thing. And if it's yeah. if you get like deflate, just like hey, we all know that. Look at what happened with the Lions in Dallas. The Lions yeah. had the shank punt after that. They still had eight minutes left in the game, but that junk was deflating, man. <laughs> yeah. And it's a judge in Louisiana that oh, ordered man. this. So an actual judge wow. in Louisiana okay. is making this happen. Wow. Okay. Hey, shout out to that judge. Absolutely. Better be careful, though. Roger might have somebody on there. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's gonna be hey, that's gonna be interesting to follow, man. That that really is gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah. I wanted to say something real quick. Um, John Martin uh, said he he think he ready to start a YouTube channel. So that's what's up. Anybody else that's out there? Uh, you know, you can you can contact uh, Mir Travis, and um, we more than happy to help you, man. So shout out to John. Hope you actually uh, you know, if you want, man, we here for you. Absolutely. Go ahead, try. Yeah. Okay, so here's a question for you guys. Who is a biggest threat in the NFC North? Derek, start it. Biggest threat for me is going to be Chicago. Um, Minnesota, once again, Kirk Cousins. Uh, I don't care nothing about their defense or nothing. I mean, unless their defense is going to start uh, score all the points. I'm not – Minnesota to me is um, – not as bad as Green Bay, so I would have to say I would have to say Chicago. Um, I know sometimes the div division winners take a steep step back. I don't know if Chicago is going to do that this year. Uh, I do have them going right now, still ten and six, and I think um, they still got Khalil Mack. So I was like, you know, Khalil Mack on them and Kirk Cousins on, <laughs> you know, and Amir Abdullah. So I yeah, I can't. You know, the hell I, I still keep thinking about like the Hail Mary he threw, man, that literally went like 30 yards. Like it looked like he had everything. It took everything for him to throw that ball. And it went like he threw it from like his own 40. <laughs> and it, so I'm not worried about Kirk, Kirk Cousins. So I'm going to say the Chicago Bears are still the biggest threat. OK, mm. um, OK, I 50 uh, 50 agree with you. I think they had the healthiest defense last year by far. And I think that's almost an aberration of like the rest of the NFL and the rest of the years in the league. Um, I don't think their defense is going to stay as healthy. They also don't have Amos anymore. So it's going to be hard um, for them to have that cushion over the top of the defense. So I think with some injuries and not having that cushion over the top of the defense, I think they're going to get burned more over the top. Um, I also think that, uh, Trubisky is still in the offense and isn't fully ready. Uh, so I'm going to probably go with the Vikings. Um, yes, no, we all know what Kirk Cousins can do, which is pretty much nothing. He's the opposite of clutch. But that defense is still stout, and they got Dalvin Cook, who is a really good running back. And um, they still got Thielen and Diggs, which is a really good pair of wide receivers. And their defense, um, like I said, is continuing to get better. Their old line's getting better, which is for the first time in a while. And just see them giving us the hardest shot at winning the division, in my opinion. Mm. See, I am also going with the Minnesota Vikings. And that's because um, I think Lions personnel show did hit it on the nose, but he forgot one player. And that yep. is Kyle Rudolph. They got a tight end. Oh, they got a healthy yeah. run game. They got two two top wide receivers. All Kirk Cousins has to do is stay upright and don't screw up. 
and then let your defense do all the rest of the damage. Yeah. Okay, you know, Travis. No, what do you say? Wait, you said you said Kurt has to do what? Not screw up and stand upright. Hmm. So don't yeah, get okay. sacked and and don't screw up the game. Don't turn the ball over. Yeah, don't turn the ball over. So, don't fall. Well, Alex. So another Alex Smith. Exactly. Yeah. So if he's yeah, but but okay. If he All if right. he takes if he takes on that Alex Smith role with what the pieces that they have. I feel like they're the biggest threat to us. And I would actually have, I would actually say like it would come down to like a full game or a game and a half. Like, I think that Detroit finally figures it out and closes the gap. Yeah. You know, okay. Let me ask you this, Dan. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. No, go ahead, man. Oh, I do believe that, um, you know, like we do finally figure it out. Like as far as like, okay, this is how we're going to win it, you know, and it's not going to be the same every week, you know, because one thing I have noticed about uh, uh, Daryl Bevel, he's just like, he's just like uh, Coach Patricia. He too is a chameleon. You know, and one person that I would have gave it to the the Chicago Bears is Vic Vangio. Vic Van- Vangio was one of the best yeah, defensive right. coordinators out yeah. there. He could disguise anything. He could make something look like, uh, like uh, cow patties, and and turn it into roses. <laughs> like, how did you how did you do that? You know, and for him to leave. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, Travis. We got wait. What? What's what's a cow patty, man? Is that is that short for something? What is the cow patty, bro? Yeah, it's short for something and clean for something. Uh, okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> and here it is. I thought you could eat it. I thought I was trying to get me a oh. cow patty. Cow patty, what's going? Okay, all right. Can't eat that. Oh. What's going on, Ed? <laughs> Ed Whiting is in the building, man. What's going on? What's happening, yeah, guys? I'm, I, what's like, look, hey, look. My listen, listen, listen. My dad, my dad. Here's a little story for y'all. Story time. I got it. I got to tell y'all a story real quick. My dad, uh, back in the day, man, y'all, everybody know in Michigan know what Sam's Club is. You might have BJ's or somewhere, oh, yeah. you know, if you in different parts. Of, but if you're from Michigan, you know what Sam's Club is. Sam's Club, if you from Michigan, you know, like the original Sam's Club before it was Sam's Club was the Warehouse Club. Like you got to be at least like 35 to know it. So I remember my dad brought some patties home. He said they were, <laughs> he said they were horse patties. He said they were horse patties. So I'm like, I hated them. I thought I was like, oh, these are nasty. So I thought it was a, I thought it was actual cow patties, Trav. Like, where are cow patties at? So yeah, I don't really think My it was bad. horse meat, but you know. Um, yeah, it's all right. You know, I, hey man, you know I'm not, I don't, I don't. I don't know all this stuff, Travis. I don't even know how to change my Twitter back to being white. <laughs> I, I, hey, somebody help me, man. I will help you after we get off of here. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Help me, please. <laughs> uh, oh man. Um, yeah, I you know what? I, I can't believe y'all putting that much faith in Kirk Cousins. This We're is the putting- same Kirk Cousins from Washington, right? You see, but that's the thing. I'm not putting no stock in him. I'm just hoping that he don't screw it up. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. actually, technically, I hope that he does because I want the Lions to get the division. But mm-hmm. the, as far as the biggest threat, I hope that he just doesn't screw up the game because I do definitely think that the Green Bay Packers are going to be the worst in the division because they are in rebuild mode. And if they're not in rebuild mode, they got to look at themselves in the mirror. Point blank, flat out. If you're if you're a Packers fan, I'm sorry if you hear this, but you guys need to be in a rebuild. Don't be sorry, Travis. They ain't sorry you for know. us. <laughs> sorry that for is true. Point. That is they true. Sorry for us. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but I mean, shout like, out to Tom Grassley. That brother was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he was hurt on that Mike Daniel sign, and we got TJ too. Hey, yeah. go ahead, Travis. <laughs> hey, and shout out to TJ. He was there. Uh, uh, the first day of uh, training camp this year. Um, 
But you know, like that's that's I'm not really putting a whole lot of stock into Kirk Cousins. Like if he could just stand upright, don't screw the don't screw the uh game up, you know, hand it off to your running back, let him do most of the damage, Deacon dunk to your wide receivers, and have your defense play solid defense, you're gonna win games. You know, that's a winning formula. You know, that's exactly what we're trying to do. You know, we're gonna dink and dunk. You know, if it's open down the field, no, we're gonna Travis, no, <laughs> no, what? we are not gonna dink and dunk. We are gonna run that ball. Do not dink and well, dunk is what well, we did last year. No, well, no. I mean, I'm saying as far as like, if you look at what the Patriots do, they run the ball, and then they dink yeah. and dunk, and then if the, if it's open down the field, then they're gonna launch it down the field. That's the right, but they run of, the ball to open up the launch. What? Exactly, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Like they're gonna uh, run the ball, dink and dunk, and you know if it's open down the field, they're gonna throw the ball down the field and play solid defense. And on special teams, we're gonna just create nightmares on you. It's gonna be like nightmare on Elm well, Street prefer- because. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer a dunk over a dink, man. True, because dinks is all I think about is screen, screen, <laughs> pass. That's I don't want to. I do not oh, want to see that all, no. all game long. I, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I don't. Man, uh, please don't say that. that. I mean, that's all we did last year. But I, I do agree with you. What you're saying about you know Tom Brady and how uh, the Patriots do. I think the Patriots was you know Edelman, and that'll be where Da comes in. Uh, shout out to oh, I just got ten dollars from my cash app. Thanks, Da. Um. <laughs> That's uh oh, that's 20 bucks. That's where he's gonna come in at. <laughs> wow. That's what oh yeah, yeah, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, this a hey, tonight's episode of the the what is what is the name of it, Travis? <laughs> the uh what do you got? Oh, the movement starts here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to give a shout yep. out to today's sponsor, Danny Amendola. Um, go check out his, his Instagram. Um, no, his abs are not photoshopped, and uh <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow, another 10. All right, guys. So <laughs> and also check yeah, out but his Twitter. I, I'm page not worried too. about anybody. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh boy. So hey, look, man. Um man, we got a shout out to Ed Whiting. Uh and everybody else, man. We know it's been a tough week for y'all. Tough week. It's been a tough week for us too. <laughs> <laughs> we we've been going through some things over here, uh, man. My sub count went down faster, man. It was just like, whoa, what happened? But you guys are rocking with us. Uh, we appreciate that. <laughs> hey, Travis, I'm just keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. Hey, uh, the thumbs down was in abundant. You know, subs was dropping like flies. But um, we appreciate y'all, man. JGB, Ed Whiting. I thought you was gone, man. I thought Ed. I thought Ed was out. <laughs> so. I do appreciate all y'all, man. Chris, uh, one pride forty. You know, it's it's <laughs> it's real out here. It's real, man. But we appreciate y'all and, and y'all being able to be versatile like that, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> and I and I do want to definitely uh, throw out this disclaimer as well. I don't know if you guys caught me on Twitter yesterday. I just want to say thank you guys all for for the well wishes and and the positive comments and things like that, man. You guys helped me through a real tough day. The more you know. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, man. Um, what else we got? <laughs> so you guys want to talk about uh the defense? Or you guys want to talk about that old offensive line? Uh, mm. let's go hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I'm not even going to lie. I saw Kenny Wiggins okay. in an interview, and he's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All I heard was blah, blah, blah. That's all I heard, man. Like, bro. Um, wow. So I'm a little nervous. I am a little nervous. Hey, well, you you and me both. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, yeah, of course, we got our tackles, Rick Wagner, Taylor Dicker. Um. I think Ragnall is going to start at center this year. At least that's what it's looking like so far. And then I think Glasgow will be a fine guard, whatever side he starts on. It's just that other guard position that's freaking me out. And, of course, you guys feel the same way. 
So who do you think is going to win that spot? You want to go, uh, Derek? I don't know. I, I Listen, I don't know. <clears throat> it better be somebody good. That's all, I, that's all I got to say. That's I mean, it's like <clears throat> I'm not sure because I looked at the 53-man roster, you know, uh, prediction by Rothstein, and he's got pretty much the same. I want to say it's almost like plugged in the same, man, with the addition of, uh, you know, um, Ragnar actually being at center. And I'm just like, well, everybody kept saying last year that the offensive line needed to jail. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe, you know, that they are, they needed to jail and they will play mounds better than they played last year. Because it's, it, as far as I know, it hasn't been a, a ton of movement, right? Like you've got uh, Ragnow being, he going to play the position we drafted him as. Has there been any other major movements on the O-line? Uh well, what they've been doing lately is they're doing uh dual guards. So they're doing, it was Glasgow and Wiggins starting. Um, I think they said the first two days, and then day three and four they had Abushi and, oh good lord, who am I forgetting? Joe Dahl. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Joe Dahl. And it's so, every other day. He's like, not... they, like they do one day and then uh the other day, uh another uh the other set and have a nice day, JGB. Yeah, you two bucks, right? Thanks, man. Appreciate y'all. Oh, bu- book sprays uh leaving too. Mm-hmm. Oh no! I th- oh, okay. Uh, he said, "Okay, he said peace out, JGB." Uh, okay, my bad. My bad. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. Like I, I'm reading that same one. The only three that are there every single play is uh Tyler Decker. Uh, Rick Wagner and Frank Ragnow. And Frank, Frank's been playing center the whole time. Um, I will yep. say this. I'm worried about that because of like, even what, um, Derek was saying is, you know, they need a gel and how can you gel when you don't know what group is going to be with you? You know, but I do hope actually that the, the guy that I, truly want to start and i know he got problems and i know you know he has he's a rookie and undrafted and things like that but it's bo benchwa um uh, mm. i was watching his i was watching his game film i'm sorry but i i that like that's one college that produces offensive linemen and they produce uh linebackers that was one reason why i was actually so mad at at bob quinn because he picked uh, Jared Davis over T.J. Watt, I was so mad over that. Because I was like, "What are you doing?" Like, Wisconsin has yeah. the linebackers. They're yeah, well, yeah. Because every time you know the Lions pick a Wisconsin linebacker, they're pretty darn good. <laughs> you know, uh, DeAndre Levy is one that really pops up to uh, a lot of our minds, and. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Of course, I love Levy. What, I miss Levy. Oh, absolutely. You do. Um, yeah, I miss Levy. You know. I miss his beard. His prime. Pre pre injury <clears throat> pre injury, there was no other better outside linebacker. Nope. Like that yeah, dude just got interceptions upon interceptions. <laughs> He led the league as as a linebacker uh, that got the most interceptions. I was like, oh, okay, I like that. But we never had another t- – uh, we didn't have a team around it. You know, and then yeah. we had and one. Levy, and, and then 2014, Levy's that not was a year. No, yeah. Yeah, he's not – yeah, he, he had to retire. Yeah. Oh, he retired. Injury, oh. Yeah, his hip injury oh. cost him his, his, oh. uh, his playing days. He could not wow. get over the hump. Yeah. So whatever he did mm-hmm. over there, uh, vacationing cost him his career in football. Yeah. On top of his, that's messed on up. On top man. of his worries about CTE too. Yep, I know he was a big advocate for about CTE. Yeah. You know, yeah, man. That's yeah. That's a... go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. 
No, I, I was just thinking like, yeah, you know, that's that's a real thing. I know we all always talk about, you know, we spend our YouTube channels and all this stuff and we so much excitement, man. But that that's that CTE is real, man. It's like, you know, sometimes I sit back and think about it like, man, you know, I hope that they can uh, make the game safer. You know, I know it's a billion dollar in industry, man, but you think they that they would make this game safer, you know, every year because um, that stuff is real, man. So, yeah. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know that. I knew he left the league, but once he left the Lions, man, you know, I just really didn't follow him too much. And um, I knew he was out of the league, but I didn't really know why. So, yeah, man. Yeah, he was – He that was the injury. Yeah, I wanted to ask you that. Go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to ask you guys. Um, so, with, with Theo Riddick being gone – um. I mean, so that means more work for Ty Johnson. Is that what we feel? Is that what's going to happen or, you know, something else? But what do you guys think about Ty, that? Did that just open Ty, the door for, for Ty Johnson? I do. I, well, I don't think Ty Johnson's job was ever in jeopardy. I think it was more or less, it was either Theo Riddick or Brandon Powell. And I think this will mm. actually let him have a little bit more – um play in in training camp you know where if if you know theo riddick was there you know brandon powell's good is gone and you you know so that's you think so wait wait so you think so you think powell is still there (sighs) when it comes down to the (laughs) when it comes down to the 53 when it comes down to the 53, ah, mm-hmm. oh, man, that is so hard. Um, I don't think I don't he know is, man. He will. Hey, hey, yeah. okay, I'm gonna answer uh, this one for you. I'm gonna answer this one for you. Um, yes, 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 yes. Wait, yes, yes what? Brandon Powell is, is wait, yes, Brandon, what? Brandon Powell will make the 53 man roster. He has special teams value, mm. he's the only player on our offense except for I'd say probably Ty Johnson that has that breakaway speed. Carry on Johnson don't get me wrong. Carry that on is true. Fast. Carry on Johnson's fast but he hasn't got that breakaway speed. DJ Anderson no, of he course doesn't. his nickname is the bowling ball. Uh, I know Jones, which is so disrespectful ball. but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so disrespectful <laughs> but Kenny Gold and Marvin Jones are both guys who still struggle with getting separation on the top of their routes. They're just really good at catching one-on-one balls, 50-50 balls. But Danny Amendola is a shifty guy. He's like Golden Tate. He'll have some, but yes, he's getting up there in age. Brandon Powell is the only guy other than Ty Johnson that has breakaway speed in our offense because Jamal Agnew don't play offense. That'd be the only three guys. And that's something that we need. That is something that makes offenses – um, move to another level. Like, I know a good example, and yes, they have Patrick Mahomes, but the Chiefs, Tyree Kill. If you take away Tyree Kill from that offense, they will not be good, no matter what. Mm, true, they will not be as good as they were last season at all. True, because you could double or triple team Kels, and they don't really have a run game. Nope, not not after uh, Kareem Hunt left. Yeah, so like, they yeah, were. I'm saying, yeah, they didn't do. No, yeah, you Did they do anything to address that this offseason? Uh, they actually have Damian Williams start. He's a running back out of, oh, I want to say LSU. No, he's got to be from somewhere else. Let me check real quick. Well, I know he came from the uh, Dolphins. Um, he had some I don't know, man. I feel like – I, I don't feel like uh, – I don't know, man. If they – I've already said this uh, several times. See, I thought Chris Lacey was like – or had a real injury, but then the next day it was like, oh, he's he's looking really good. So I don't know what's going on with him, but it, it's the Lions are so stacked. I mean, what is Brandon Powell? Yeah. So he's on. So you saying that he's on special teams? He's his his yes, value yes. on this is this team's this year's team is special. Teams. Yeah, because remember, I don't know if you remembered last year, but during the preseason he had a punt return touchdown. That was I know that's preseason, but like that's still against an NFL team, so. Yeah, his values on special teams, he can return. He's also, um, last time I checked, I think he's a gunner um, on kickoff. And I don't know why they can't put him on punt either because uh, Zach Sanders does stuff like that too. So I think with his value on special teams, and I think they should honestly put in special plays for him and Ty Johnson because 
with that speed, and he runs clean routes too. He's getting a lot better at his routes than he was at the beginning of the year last year. I think with that speed that you got to utilize it, just like you guys remember last year how we had uh, Jamal Agnew uh, run a couple of plays too on offense because of how mm-hmm. fast he was. Yeah. We'll see. For yeah, me, I, I don't know, man. I feel like. Go ahead, Trent. See, for me, it's between uh, Duhart and um, Brandon Powell. That's why I was, I was. It's like fifty-fifty for me right now. Like, camp will determine if they stay or not. Like, and only one of them will stay because I have Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones, Danny Playoffs, uh, which is <laughs> Danny Amendola. <laughs> Uh, Jermaine Curse, uh, Travis Fulgrim. Shout out to Travis Fulgrim. He is a G. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> uh, and then there's because I, I feel that they're going to carry six. Uh, and it's between Brandon Powell really? and, uh, and John Duhart. Six? Six. Yeah. yeah oh, absolutely. They, but no, no, no. They've carried crap. six before. Yeah, absolutely. They carry six in 2017. Okay, they carry six in, and and I, I don't know, man. I feel it. I kind of feel like that too. I, I've been on the fence about it, but they're so good. They got so many guys that it's like you don't yeah. you don't want to give one up. So you know what I'm saying. But it's gonna be a tough cut, though, man. I, I if oh, they absolutely. keep a fullback, if they keep a fullback, which they probably will, because they want to run. I think, and, I think uh, they do. Right. I definitely I, think they yeah. do. Yeah, no, they because- do. Do they they do, but but who's expendable Andre, enough down the line? You know what I'm saying? That's six receiver. That's six receiver. Well, That's right, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys stop and think about it though. We're only gonna carry two two quarterbacks. Okay, we're gonna carry um uh, Zach Center, carry on Johnson, uh CJ Anderson, and what do you call it? So that's four. We're gonna carry four uh running backs, uh, uh then a fullback. So we'll carry five backs. Yep. Um, okay. Do we and carry three or four tight receivers? I say we're going to carry just three. Three okay. tight ends. Um, yes. So three. you think we're going to have TJ, tight ends. Jesse, and then either Isaac Nada or uh, Logan Thomas? Not both. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be uh, Isaac Nada that stays. I wow. think. Uh, I think it's going to be Logan Thomas. Tom- uh, See, yeah, I think it's going to be Logan Thomas too. You know, I think Thomas is. Uh, days are pretty much number. I think he was just a camp body, um, you know. But I, I, I do. I kind of. I, he is probably the one that I'm going to feel most bad about because he was here one year, cut a few out, uh, like a day later, and then yeah. comes back to us. Last is a camp, and then going to get cut again. Like I feel bad for you. Like I, I hope wherever you go, you find a <laughs> spot and. You know, and, and you can actually be a NFL player, but you know, it is what it yeah. is. I mean, it, it's that's the business aspect of it. You know, so I mean, there's going to be you know different spots where we we go one player less, you know, and then one maybe one player more. But I really think that wide receiver is that one spot that we carry six. Wow, okay. I think if well, we then- if we ditch if we ditch uh. If we ditch Nada or send do something with him, then we'll, well I think six. Nada's going to stay. I no, I think Nada stays. Well, I mean, I'm just, I think, no, no, but remember I said, I think it's Thomas that, so we, you know, we're at odds, brother. <laughs> we're at odds. <laughs> well, okay, okay, question, 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 real quick. What, <laughs> Logan Thomas is about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and I think Nada's only 6'4". Why, I know you're going off potential with Nada, but it's not like Logan Thomas has played a lot either. He just trans. He transitioned from a quarterback to a tight end, and he's got an extra two to three inches. That's true, but the guy got his hands. Like you went, you came from you know an SEC school. You've yeah. won national titles. You've you know you've been one of the better tight ends in the SEC. You know, I, I definitely would have to give him the heads up. You know. And Book Spray says yeah, still okay. got practice squad. I don't see not a go into practice squad just because of if he gets cut, he's gonna get claimed. Yeah, he will. He has probably no no shot at making it even to the practice squad. 
Yeah, they, they got some rules on the pla practice squad. Shout out to uh, Scott McKellen. Uh, I was supposed to do a video about this, but they got some it's, – it's, you can't, can't just dump a dude on the practice squad. It's like certain criteria and things like that that it takes to be on the practice squad. And, like, so, you know, I, I'm not too sure. Um, but mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I feel like, I feel like it's going to be Thomas. That's just me, though. Okay. Um, okay, so – Talking about that, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, Trav, go over your list of the six receivers you think we're going to have first, and then me and uh, Derek will talk a little bit about that. Just go down Well, quick. I definitely – I mean, okay, my locks are yep. Galladay, Marvin Jones, Danny Playoff, Amendola, uh, Jermaine Curse, and Travis Fulgram, and then the up in the air is Brandon Powell and John Duhart. Okay, and then Duhart's that. Ugh, remind me who Duhart is. I don't know why. I'm drawing a blank. He's the Old Dominion. He's Travis Fulgram's opposite uh, wide receiver at Old Dominion. Old Dominion. And all yeah, I've been hearing is good things about oh. him. And, and No, he's yeah. been having a great camp right now oh, from what I've heard. Never mind. I could have sworn he got cut. I'm thinking. Right. Like, oh, mine I'm mine is a uh, uh, big three. Um, Lord have mercy. Yep. Lacey, if he's not hurt, uh, Jermaine Curse and Travis. Travis, Ford. so you're saying five, right? No, I'm no, that'd be six. Yeah, that'd be six. I'm, I'm gonna just go with six. Right, I miss Lacey. Just okay, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with okay. six. All right, if I had to go with six, I'd probably go, and we've had this discussion before about Curse, but um, I'd go. Kenny, Marvin, Danny Amendola, uh, Brandon Powell. This isn't in any order, really, other than the first three. Um, Brandon Powell, Jermaine Curse, and then um, – uh, excuse me, wait for it. Travis Fulgham. There we go. So, wait, who's your um, – so, wait, I got Powell, and then you got Chris Lacey then? I got Chris Lacey. Okay. And me, I mean, you see, I have Kennedy. Yeah. See now, now Kennedy and things like that. I think that they could go on practice squad. Um, mm -hmm. you know, but for me, it's between Brandon Powell, uh, John Duhart, and I totally forgot about Chris Lacey, and I got to put him in that <laughs> list too. Like, it's gonna be a three three spot battle for the one for the last spot. Yeah, you know. Well, and I, and I I'm hoping. They wow, keep six. yeah, we just. I'm. A, yeah, I do. I do too. I'm hoping. I do too. Six. I want them to keep six. Yeah, me too. Do I think they will though? No, but I'm hoping they do. I really am because there's. Well, 2017. 2017, they did. 2017, yeah. they did, but last year they did. Well, because remember, 2017, they didn't have a fullback. They took out. The that is true. From that that is true. Completely. So then now. Especially yeah. with who we got now, like we have a fullback. And last season we used Joey Ball, and we also drafted um, Nick Bodden, and he got injured. If not, he would have been. Yeah, we will have a full pet. Yeah, yeah. The only yeah. Somebody asked me today, like, do you think Zach Zinner could play? And I was like, no, no. no. That's what, I don't think uh, he could. Yeah, Chris was saying man, I can't. It is eleven o'clock, man. That's crazy. <laughs> man, yeah, time flies when you're having fun. Wow, man. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I guess it does, man. Wow. Ed Whiting said Fulgram and Nada had some drop issues at camp, but they were getting open. Oh man, I didn't even hear that, but that's that's kind of alarming too. Um, uh, I mean Fulgram, I can uh, understand, you know, but Nada, he's not supposed to have the drop issue, so that's kind of alarming for me. Um, you know, to hear that he was having some drop issues at camp. Yeah, because like Fulgham is pretty much not a lock, but with the size, height, or the size, the weight, and his jumping ability, I think he's got a decent shot. Of course, like we were discussing, and yeah, yeah. Nada doesn't have his spot locked up at all. He's fighting for his spot, so he can't be dropping anything right now. And that's his yeah. go-to too, because he's supposed to be better. Hey, than man, this is with yeah. When was the last time we had this much depth, man? Like. At these many positions, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like this is insane. Man. I'm yeah, so excited. I, 
Yeah, I'm so I excited. It was crazy. I was like, how do we have like this is impressive. I think I think this year is finally like I think probably I want to say about three quarters of the roster is what Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn like are envisioned, like what they want. I think the other quarter yeah. of the roster is a little iffy, but I think they're finally getting the guys <laughs> in place they want to get in place. And you guys have to think about it. This they're actually on pace yeah. to what they are supposed to be doing because it takes uh technically you know a team or a franchise to have like three years to have their yeah. system fully in place you yeah. know so if they're only a quarter of the way there to having a full full team like that's impressive you know and to say for us to have this much talent and this yeah. much depth that's also impressive too because I, I don't think we ever had this much I have never seen a team with this much depth on the Detroit Lions ever. Hey, neither have I, man. And and I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, I'm 32 and I haven't seen it. So <laughs> well, well, look, man, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uh wrap it up, man, because I gotta I still gotta jump in the shower and all of that, man. So I'm gonna have to to if y'all gonna still go, I might have to dip out. All right. All right. Uh, are you Chad, good? You uh, it. are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Like, All right. Well, let me just say want... this before your man sign off. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. I thought y'all had was, was like we going, <laughs> no, no, we good. going. So tell me what y'all doing. No, what are we doing? You make the final. Decision. I mean, this is your uh, channel. I will say I do got to get up in the morning too. <laughs> but hey, um, good to me. Okay, uh, so I do want to tell the chat this. We are working on a project, me and um, and uh, Lions Personnel Show. So stay tuned for that. Keep an, keep an ear out on Derek's channel for an announcement. But we are working on something. We've been brainstorming a little bit. Um, but right. with, well, I'm, guess what, chat? I'm going to find out what you do. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? Are you just gonna <laughs> drop something right on your boy? Like I have no idea. Hey, well, man. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be something <laughs> that. All right, hey, it's gonna be something. Uh, something special. But um, uh, with that being said, I appreciate okay. you guys all for <laughs> rocking. Uh, we had seventeen uh likes, the one dislike, and we still got ten people watching. And Chris or. Er, White Master, I man, you got uh, a subscriber, man. Oh, I appreciate hey, that. I said you got a sub. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, White Masters, I'm sorry uh, that you came in late. Uh, definitely rewind this back. Um, but I appreciate <laughs> you stopping. Hey, in. I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, White Masters, come on, bro. That name <laughs> need a little explanation. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> This, this dude come in the chat with a name like oh. White Masters? Come on, man. Oh, All right. Hey, appreciate you, though, bro. Appreciate you, man. Uh, and, to, and, and maybe go subscribe to me and, and Life's personnel. I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little, a hashtag. Oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, oh. man, we live in a different, we live in, a, hey, we live in a different time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, but I appreciate you. I really do. Uh, hello, oh. hello to you too. Let me check out that profile profile pic, right? We're okay, oh. all right. <laughs> oh wow, he's okay. from Europe. Oh, he oh, said, "Ha ha, don't worry, I'm from Europe." Okay. Hey, we appreciate <laughs> that, right. man. <laughs> we appreciate that. Shout out to, hey. to those in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, bro. We live in a, we live in a different oh. time. <laughs> oh man, man! What? Oh, <laughs> all, all I gotta say is, um, <laughs> man, the, the appreciation that we have over here is, uh, is 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 really sincere. Like we appreciate y'all. Like I said earlier, it's been a really tough week, and uh, we're we're probably gonna go on. I think we decided Mondays. I did put a community tab vote out. So if you have not voted, uh, I am the only one with that feature as to why it's on my channel. So if you have not voted, go check that out. Vote on what day. Uh, Monday's looking pretty good. We are aware that there is a um, 
Monday night football game. And we were working on some ways to kind of, you know, make the, the show entertaining with the Monday night. Um, but that's kind of like the only day. So we, we are aware that the round table is still on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So this was the only day, um, that really it worked for our schedule. Not to say that Tuesdays and Thursdays didn't, but we're trying to listen to you guys and work within our own schedule as well. So with that being said, I appreciate y'all sincerely. Um, it really has been a tough week, but you guys have been rocking with all of us, uh, this whole time. And, um, Appreciate all my subscribers who, uh, you know, talk some sense into me this last week to just, you know, keep it mature um, and be the man that you guys know that I can be. So with that being said, man, appreciate y'all. Uh, next week, my channel, it will rotate similar to the round table. So that's all I got, man. Appreciate y'all, man. We'll see you next time. And please go subscribe to uh, the Gridiron Blitz. He is one away from 1700. So I'll, before we end the show, I do definitely want to see 1700. Y'all know I'm thirsty. Y'all know I'm thirsty, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 absolutely, man, because I need my thirst quenched. Yeah, I need my thirst quenched. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, White Masters, if you haven't subscribed you got, to the Great Iron Blitz, <laughs> his link is in my description. <laughs> yes, it is, uh, man. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh. No, I just... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I get you. I'm just saying, man. I'm just, I'm just saying, you come in the chat, it's a name like that. I just got a little nervous, man. I said, Love you, bro. Love, appreciate you all the way from Europe. That means we are transcending hey, yeah. countries, and that's what we appreciate. But what you got for him, Lions? Hey, um, yeah, no, man. Sorry, this chat's got me dying. Um, no, I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, my new name, which uh, I don't think Chucks will, and I don't know if uh, Gridiron Blitz is changing either. It is Lion Personnel Show, so there's no breakdown anymore, just LPS. Pretty simple, easy. Um, something more to roll off the tongue. Um, uh, just want to say thank you guys for listening, and yeah, subscribe to Gridiron Blitz and Chucks <laughs> Sports. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, Travis. One more thing, man. You forgot you're going to tell them about uh, what today is? Today is the end of an era, man. Yes. Today is the end of an era. Um, there is no more Google Hangouts for the Sports oh, Movement yeah. Network. Um, so, yeah, Google Hangouts is going yep. away. So, you guys will definitely be seeing some new setups. Um, I am in the uh, process of finishing mine up. So you might see something coming out uh, relatively soon. Oh, I appreciate <laughs> that, White say, Master. I got to apologize, man. I just lost you a sub. Hey, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I lost you what? a sub, bro. To that person that left, man, shame. Yeah, man, shame on you. <laughs> never, let, 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 never let a man mess, you, mess up what you got going on, man. Come on, bro. Yeah, man, you draw oh. back down. My bad, Trav. I, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh man. <laughs> hey. Well, <Goodness>. with, that, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> I appreciate you guys all for rocking with us. <laughs> and you guys have a wonderful night. And expect some good things out of uh the sports movement network. All right, you guys. Have a great night. No, you gotta see it like have a great wait, Travis. Hold on, Tra Travis. <laughs> Travis. Yeah. You can't you can't leave it like that, man. You gotta put us out. We we trying to start a movement, bro. You're like, yeah, just <laughs> smart smooth network. You gotta put some bass in your voice, man. Well, with that being said, the sports movement network. Please go. join the sports movement network. Because the movement <laughs> starts here. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, y'all, peace. Oh, my God. All right. Peace. Have a nice day.